Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Laws channel. Today, hey, I'm going over a really big haul. I had uh, one thrift store, my thrift store that's been like totally dead. Uh, the shelves still look barren, but there was were several books on one shelf, I guess maybe had just been put out, that were kind of surprised what they are. Um, some kind of design books, it's kind of interesting. And then my, my two libraries are starting to uh, really, really have a lot of stock, right, on their, their bookstore rooms. They, I was in, uh, in one of them before Christmas, and the people working were just getting inundated with donations. So I'm really hoping here in January that, that they come out. One lady that was working there, she kind of does like the um, arts, you know, like arts and crafts section or fine arts section of books. And uh, she said that she had books to put out, but she didn't have space on their shelves. So they uh, they still claim that in that the, that bookstore too that their visits are are still down. Uh, they haven't hit uh, pre COVID levels. So anyway, uh, I've got some great finds. Let's go through them. I'll show you comps. What I'm you know gonna uh, list them for. Most everything I buy. I'm blessed here in the North Alabama region to get things in that 50 cents to $1.50. If I'm paying $2, I'm at the up end, upper end of the spectrum most of the time. So uh, that's pretty cool. And before I jump in uh, to, to show you what I found in the comps, let's just say thank you. Thank you for the channel support, the comments, um, people that have been around for the whole journey, new, new viewers. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we show like six or 7,000 unique viewers a month. And we're sitting around that 3,500 subscriber level right now. So, you know, we'll amp up the subscribers. You guys keep watching. I'll keep doing it. We'll just, we'll see what happens. So let's, let's jump in. All right. So the first one is one that I'll, I may, I'll probably, I'm going to read it at least before and then probably sell it. Local interest uh, from Huntsville, North Alabama, Tales of Huntsville Caves. So, you know, I know Huntsville's got a really good spelunking society. This will be just interesting to see, and it's probably a, a lo good local interest. Um, be fun. Here's another one, and you know, I paid a dollar for this one. I don't know if you can read it. This Lost Writings of Howard uh, Whedon. And up on Montesano Mountain, there's this, this Whedon house, and uh, I've sold some of the Howard Whedon books before. Uh, this is probably a $15 to $20 book. Um, I'll check it out and then I'll, I'll list it. I think a good, another good local interest. Um, all right, this one, I'm, and it just shows that sometimes you just have to, sometimes you just have to look things up for comps. I don't know this Charles Payne, un, 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 Unstoppable Prosperity, but this is kind of what was in the business section. And, you know, a lot of those get dated. I, I, I actually was just, in this one section, I was just using my Scout IQ. And if you're new to the channel, I traditionally, for years, I was just my Mach 1 calibrated eyeball. I just have an eye for it and I pick it. But in, in earlier this year in May, I started selling on Amazon. And so I actually got Scout IQ to, to check it out for, you know, about a year. Um, I think I got the one year subscription. It was cheaper if I went ahead and bought a year. But um, I, I, got, I don't scan everything. I, I, st I still cherry pick, but there are certain sections that... The scanner comes in really handy, right? It's fast and I can go through it. I still don't scan every book, but I'm just pulling books that look reasonable. And uh, it works for me. Uh, it's kind of a hybrid approach. This book, uh, this will go to Amazon. It's got an e-score on a Scout IQ of like uh, a 109. So this this sucker's selling every few days, right? Um, I see FBA listings on this and they're, they're like from 50 to 80 bucks. New copies of this are running like 90 to 100 on, on Amazon. So kind of bizarre. I, I'm going to send this rascal in. Hopefully it flips quick for, you know, 60 or 70 bucks and paid a dollar for it. That'd be awesome. Could Would that all of our finds be like that, right? <laughs> be like, hey, if it were that easy, everybody would do it. So um, here's one project-based teaching. Got it for 50 cents. That's the blue sticker at this one library. Uh, I see this 9 to 15. There was a fulfilled by Amazon copy for like fourteen ninety five. There was some merchant fulfilleds that were like nine or ten. So it's not going to be a big a big win, but it'll be send it in with the other stuff. It should sell, make four or five bucks off of it. Now this one, I really like this one, and I've got another uh, book on the subject, but um, I may keep this. But if I sell it, it I see it in the twenty five to fifty dollar range. Again, I paid a dollar for it. Red sticker. But bookbinding for book artists. 
and it just looks like it's like not even been used. And it's got just tons of photos and you know the the how to how to do everything, how to do. It had things on you know how to how to sew. Um, I mean this this thing. If you want to to know how to bind a book, this rascal right here could teach you. Um, just tons of photos, tons of illustrations. Um, this 25 to 50 bucks. This is, this is a, I really love when I find this stuff. My eyes saw this. I'm like, I got to check this out. But uh, this is, I love finding this stuff and selling it at my store. Um, here's one. This one was really interesting to me. And the reason I picked this up, um, and I paid a dollar for it too, red dot. This Toyota way. I had sold another book on Toyota, lean, manufacturing, history, whatever probably about a month ago and it sold like really quick um for like 30 bucks this one prices out at 28 so i guess one thing that i'm learning now is that it's what you do right when you learn i'm seeing if it's anything dealing with toyota toyota you know the way they've done business historically um you know lean lean you know six sigma lean service all this this stuff I'm looking it up. I'm checking it out. This is like a $28 book. Um, I'll sell, I'll sell that on Amazon. Um, here's one, my library, this one library has just started a collectible shelf and this is a, uh, Lasker's common sense chess from like 1946. I'm going to do some more research on it. On these, they're starting to put little cards. It's kind of funny. And still putting their stickers on them and you can see that, that it was a dollar still, which is kind of funny to me, but this one coming with, the dust jacket 1946 edition i'd do a little more research but th if this could bring at least 20 or 30 bucks i thought it was cool especially having the dust jacket it's a little ratted out got some you know what do they say sugar bites um so, you know little, but it'll be good uh here's another one i got uh this is at my other library kind of collectible this was uh yogi philosophy and oriental occultism so the, the, the title jumped out at me. It's actually, I paid, uh, this library price is on the inside, $2 for it. And this was a early, like 19, all right. So this was a, a 1931 copy and for $2, I see this, uh, sometimes bringing 40, 50 bucks. Um, anyway, it, I got to do a little more research on it too, but it was, the topic was cool enough, weird enough, right? I, I like weird, weird sales. Um, I think I can, I can turn this over pretty good. Uh, here's another one, not a high dollar book. This is like a $12 book, but I, I like the subject matter. And, you know, obviously everything I buy, I would love to have, you know, high price books that sell quick, but I love the subject matter. And this was a first edition and it was Knights of the Green Cloth. And it's about frontier gamblers, okay? And it was the first edition. It's it's only like a twelve, maybe fifteen dollar book. Uh, I got it for fifty cents. Let me see, fifty cents. And uh, you know, it's got look, some of these old frontier gamblers. has has their photos. Shows, you know, pictures of some of the old gambling halls. Um, I just I thought it was cool. It's a cool subject matter. Oh, there was a. Here's to show you this. Oh, I guess there was a lady gambler. So anyway, cool subject matter. It won't be, you know, for 50 cents, I'll still make, you know, 10 or 12 bucks off of it. So that's nice. All right. Here's one that may be a keeper. It's, uh, this urgent second class. I think it's a weird, a weird title, but it's, uh, it's about craft, how to create collage, dubious documents and other art from ephemera. So it's like, um, I'm at least going to read this. It's uh, got it for 50 cents. I see on Amazon, if I send this into Amazon, it's 15 to $24, but I want to look through it and see what kind of weird stuff it has. I'll just show you some, um, you know, I guess, you know, how to make, that's kind of cool. I mean, that's really artsy stuff, you know? Um, let's see if something else is, oh, there you go. Like stamping on sheet music. Uh, let's see what else is, is there. I don't know. It's, it's just got advertising, uh, rubber stamping type, type things. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into stamping and stuff, but 
I found I found it to be kind of a gorgeous book on you know lots of artsy stuff. So anyway, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna enjoy it for a little bit and I'll sell it. All right, here's one. I think it'll be thirty, maybe forty bucks. Pay the buck for this victory. It's talking about um, uh, June 6, 1944 to May eighth, uh, nineteen forty-five. I think uh, three hundred and thirty-three, three hundred thirty-five days. You know for the liberty of, you know, liberation of Europe. And um, what's cool about this, it's not just the French, it has French and English in it. It had a little thing here that had, little said French and English. And it was really kind of classic book. It, you know, had some, yeah, has the French and the English, had some great things. I see this selling for 30 or 40 bucks. Um, lots of good history, nice condition. I like selling history. All right, um, oh, this was cool. Uh, again, if you've never been up to this area, it's, it's, it's amazing. Uh, this is Smoky Jack and this is a sales for 20 or 25. It's paperback. It's talking about, uh, the adventures of a dog and his master at Mount Lacan. If you don't know Mount Lacan, if you go up into the Smoky Mountains, great, uh, Smoky Mountain National Park, uh, there's a, a lodge up there and, and there's there, they have a dining hall and there's different, uh, lodging options, but there's a great hike and it's probably, I want to say about maybe five, four or five miles up. Uh, you can do a trail up to Mount Lacan and uh, it's a great place to, for a weekend to go up, to hike up, spend the night, have dinner and breakfast and hike back down, especially in the spring when everything's coming out or in the, uh, in the fall when the, the leaves are, are changing. In the fall, you actually have to uh, they say the reservations go out. You can get into a lottery system, but if you've never, if you've never even, even if you're not spending the night, if you've never done the hike up the Mount Lacan, it's a great hike, great, great day hike. You can go up, have a snack, you know, do things. And sometimes you'll see the pack mules coming up, bring, bringing stuff up. But anyway, this is about Smokey Jack, the dog. That'll be a good book. Um, here's one proof of spiritual phenomena. Um, you know, neuroscience discovery of mysteries of the universe, $18 had a real high E score. This, this kind of stuff, new agey stuff sells good on, on Amazon. At least that's my experience. Um, pool Bible, believe it or not. Uh, I paid 50 cents, I think for this one. Oh, no, paid a dollar for it. I see it selling for 15 bucks on Amazon pretty quick. Uh, here's another one that I've sold multiple times whenever I see it, it's in good condition. The water dog, by uh, Richard Walters. He has one called Game Dog, one called Family Dog. Then there's um, there's another one. And if you can put them together in a set, they really sell well, you know, it's really, really good. But the I, I usually can get, I don't worry, even worry about addition. I can usually get somewhere between 10 and 15 for these. And I'm usually picking them up for 50 cents or a dollar. So, <clears throat> excuse me, really, when I see these, I just pick them up. All right. Now I'm getting into something in this, this one thrift store that had just been cr just crap over the last three months. It still looked decimated. I should, I wish I'd taken some, um, video of the shelves to show you how decimated they still were, but they had this one shelf. It's like the one, um, not the bottom shelf, but the next to bottom shelf. And they always have like home improvements some design stuff and all of these. I, and I think this is the sort of thing that you get into sometimes where there is, um, uh, somebody donates, it's like, I just feel like it's like the same person. It's the same donation, right? Cause it's all the same genre that comes out at once. When that happens, it's awesome, right? Because if it's something good, right? Because it's like, this is good, 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 good. And it's all right there together. Um, but here's this, this interior wisdom, um, design book. <clears throat> it was a, um, uh, designing your home and heart for the Lord. Uh, so it's, it's kind of got a, spiritual, um, you know, spiritual design. So this is, uh, like $25. Okay. Then this, this one is one that was like travel home. This one sells for 25. It has an E score of 151 on Scott IQ, which means this sucker's selling for just about every day. Right. So I actually paid $2 for it. It'll sell for 25. It's going to be a solid, you know, 12 to $15 profit. And, uh, it's going to sell quick when I get it in. Then here's another one. It was Design Remix, another $24, $25 book. Um, then here was uh, actually one on, was there with it, the Quality Technician's Handbook. 
And I see this this selling for 35 to 50. Uh, it's getting into, yeah, I think it's, maybe it's some of like uh, inspection, how to do things for inspection, you know, has a lot of uh, building science type stuff. Um, yeah, anyway, the quality technician's handbook. Um, 35 to 50. Then there was this, um, I'll, I'll save that one. Keeping on this thread, this Adobe, another, it's like a 151 plus, it's selling for 22 to 25. Just, you know, and then here was, uh, let's see, was there any more of those? Oh, that's all, that's all those. So love when that happens. Then I saw this uh, covered bridges for Park County, Indiana. If anybody's viewing from Indiana, especially Park County, give us a shout out on the comments. Um, but it, what's cool about it was full color, right? So this is this is is nice. If, if covered bridges are your thing, this especially in Indiana, this is you know you could plan a trip, man, go up there. There's 31 bridges, it says. So I see this selling for about 20 bucks. Then I'm trying to up my cookbook game. All right, my library has a. Um, section of uh, cookbooks they put them in there well this one is on food fun and fabulous it's a southern caterer shares his and in it you know what's what's got me on these what's making it easier is um with this one see the library put the that's the month so this thing's been there since august i see this thing for 32 bucks so i think it's just been skipped over but you can see this other cookbook i bought um it's on some Indian cooking. I see this one's all over the place. I see it 10, 15. Uh, most of the FBA offers are like 25 to 28. So, but what's cool about it, if you notice, see they put a one. So what's kind of fun when I go in, if I've gone through the section and checked them all, older stuff, you know, that's like got eight, nine, 10, 11, 12s. If I know that I've already checked this section, I can just check by the date by the stamp and it makes it go faster, right? So I think that I can sell this for 20, 25 and I got it for a dollar, so that's good. And then the last one, uh, smarter workouts. Well, this is what I need to be doing. I mean, doing some kettlebell stuff. I need to be amping that up. So um, this is a solid $20 book, um, you know, be good. good. There you go. So that's it. Man, I, great hauls this week, had some good stuff. I'll be going through getting all these, you know, a lot of these are going to go to um, Amazon, trying to build up that inventory. There's some of them that are clearly going to be on my eBay, the older ones and some of the collectible stuff. So it's all, all good. You guys, uh, hopefully you're having some good sourcing too. And remember, see cool, buy cool, and they list it so you can sell it. So talk to you soon. Bye.